If you're on the hunt for the perfect white button down, this is the video for you. Hi ladies, it's Erin. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have so many guests in the studio, all my friends here in Telluride, Colorado. Meet Helene, Jody, Alyssa, and Tony. Thanks so much, you guys, for being here. All of my friends are different body shapes and they all have their favorite go-to white button-down shirts. So in this video, we're gonna talk about what they love about their white button-downs, which one is their go-to, and why and talk a little bit about their body shapes too. If you're not sure, by the way, what body shape you are, remember I did do that video where I talked about how to take your measurements, how to determine your body shape by taking your measurements. So you might wanna go back and watch that one right after this video. So should we do it? Yes. Let's get started. Okay. So the first body shape we're gonna start with is the rectangle. The rectangle, which I am, and also Alyssa is, and that means that you have a boxy waist. You don't have a clearly defined waist. Doesn't mean you have no waist, it just means it's not super defined. It can present some challenges. Oftentimes what I'll do is I'll cheat a waist, I call it creating a waist, and I'll add a waist belt or some sort of waist defining detail. But I wanted to talk about this body shape as it relates to this closet essential, the white button down shirt, which is one of those things I think every woman should have in her closet, so versatile. Tell us about your white button down. So this is your go-to, your favorite. I yes. recognize it. Yeah. Go ahead. It's the Rails cotton button down. And um, it's really soft. I love it. I'm sort of sensitive to fabrics and I just mm -hmm. think it's so comfortable and gauzy. I think it's a great spring summer piece. So I also have this shirt. It's called the Ella shirt. We'll link it below. But the other thing I like about this shirt for Alyssa is that it isn't super oversized. It does have more of a body skimming effect versus billowy. Because she is petite, because she's quite small, it's really nice to show off her shape having that more slim fitting white button down shirt. I don't know if you noticed that or not, but. I did, but I'll take the compliments. Okay. And then she's got her waist belt on, so yeah. she's defining the waist there, and some really great fitted jeans the little bit of a flare at the bottom, the kick flare. So these are great jeans also for, for her body shape and they're cropped, but they fit more like a regular jean for Alyssa because she's petite like me. What do you look for in tops? I feel like tops, if I could do one product, it would be like a top store. Like I just want to have a top store. Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> well, so what do you look for though when you're looking I, for tops? Because I'm large busted, um, I like to wear flowy tops. Mm -hmm. And um, Tony mentioned this um, about tops in another video, but it's nice to have that V. I, mm -hmm. I think it's, yeah, it, it brings attention maybe away from the bust and to the neck area, which is, for me, I like to draw attention there and away from the bust. Do you like flowy? Flowy V-neck. V-neck. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And the ability to tuck to give me a waist. Mm -hmm. I like that in a, yeah. in a top as well. And the V-neck in general doesn't matter what body shape you are. The V-neck is always a solid option. It's always going to elongate that upper body and minimize a larger bust. But even if you're not grappling with those things, it's still just a wonderful neckline. It's kind of a fail safe go-to, I would say. Okay, thanks okay. Alyssa. Thank you. Next up is hourglass. And what hourglass means is that your bust and your hip measurement are pretty even and that your waist is clearly defined. But remember, if you're not sure what body shape you are, go back and watch that other video and it will tell you very clearly. Also, before we dive in, thanks for your patience, Celine. <laughs> Just wanted to mention that you may not fit perfectly into a box, okay? I think people get frustrated or confused or agitated when they're not fitting a mold perfectly. But as this video will show you with different body shapes, as Alyssa and I talked about, we're both rectangles, but we both have our own unique things, right? So even within a body shape, there may be variations and differences. So Helene, for example, is very tall. She's a very tall hourglass and she also has a very long torso. So that presents some different challenges for maybe other hourglass shapes. I want to ask you about your white button down. I love okay. this white button down. Tell me about it, why you love it, what the brand is. Give us a scoop. It's Frank and Eileen. I like it because it's stretchy and more fitted than a, you know, sometimes if a, bag, a white shirt's baggy, it can make me look bigger than I am. Mm -hmm. And also I have to have things long enough for my arms um, and this brand fits me great. Just out of curiosity, cause I know Helene has the same shirt that I have that 
Alyssa has, the Rails Ellis cotton shirt. Out of the two, how would you compare them and how do the sleeves compare? Well, the Rails to me is more soft and also baggier. I mean, I would wear that probably more with a, sh a short or something to show off a skinnier part of my body. You know, mm -hmm. if I'm gonna wear mm -hmm. a baggy top. I really like Frank and Eileen because they're fitted. Rails, more baggy. Yeah. That's why I get both for it, different reasons. And the sleeves are okay for you on both, mm -hmm. on the rails mm -hmm. too. Long okay. enough. The other thing I just wanted to note about the Frank and Eileen, because I also have the Frank and Eileen and the rails shirt, is that it does run as Helene said, much slimmer and also slimmer through the arms. So if you have particularly like thick arms, you're probably gonna wanna go with the rails button down. But I also do love this shirt because it does have that more fitted effect, which can be really kind of sexy and flattering. And then what do you look for in tops? Like what's a go-to for you? A go-to for me is really anything, uh, if I'm not wearing a blouse, it's anything that shows off my arms, like a cami, a, a fitted like Madewell tank, easy things like that. Before I let you go, I have to know about the jeans. I already know who makes them because I just know. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Years of experience. But tell me about the jeans. These are awesome. Um, these are Veronica Beard. They are the high waist, super long. They do come up over my belly button and they're really fitted and stretchy. And this is very unique because you have trouble finding jeans that are high enough to come mm -hmm. up to even to your belly button, let alone even higher than your belly button. Yeah, they fit great. And I noticed too that the Veronica Beard jeans run really, really long. I don't even buy them anymore because they're way too long for me. I have to get them tailored and then that can sometimes mess with the integrity of the original shape of the jean. But for somebody like Helene, who's really long and tall, this is a perfect jean because it is kind of challenging to find the length, right? Especially oh, yeah. with the flare. I do wear a heel with these because if you can see they're very long in the back and so you know what's interesting is my jeans are also veronica beard but they're like four years old mm -hmm. and i think they just made them shorter you know because these fit me perfectly and i'm five four so but now i don't buy them anymore because i don't i don't want to deal with the tailor oh yeah <laughs> thank you so much helene i love your outfit you look amazing thank you and now on to triangle body shape which is one of the most common body shapes out there that means the hip measurement is larger than the bust and sometimes the shoulders jody is a classic triangle shape and for triangles there are certain tricks that you can use to try and balance out the curves if that's what you want i mean some people actually want to accentuate hips hip spot and thigh area but if you're trying to minimize that area what jody is doing is perfect she has on the dark solid jeans on the lower half that minimize and slims and then the lighter white top on top and that will create that balance if that's what you're looking for so we're talking about white button-down shirts and I love Jody that you decided to go for the trendier oversized white button-down so tell us about the the top and why you chose it so I'm super casual just living in Telluride it's just very casual and it's just comfy and it's it's a little bit of a trend which I like when I do get to a beach, I can actually take it with me and just wear it at the end of the day when it gets a little cool. So you can wear it as a cover up, you can yes. wear it with jeans, you think you'll wear it with shorts? I can wear it with shorts, I can wear yeah. it open, I would wear a tank top with a pair of shorts, with a, but I like that. You know what else would be super cute? What? Like, have you seen those skirts that have like the ruching on the side that are very beachy? Yeah. Like a fitted skirt with that oversized white button down, knotted, have have style or tucked in a little bit, and then you could drop the skirt where it is the cover up. Okay. I love it. I like I like this look on you a Thank lot. You. In general, though, what do you look for in tops? I typically wear every day some type of white t-shirt, whether it be <laughs> a cap sleeve t-shirt or a tank in white, or that's always my go-to. And I'll put a sweater over it or I'll wear, you know, like a button down over it. So what do you look for though, specifically in your tops, like features about the tops? Like what are so go-tos? So I usually do something a little blousey because mm -hmm. I like to just, you know, cover up that area. So you look for lightweight, breathable fabrics. You look for tummy forgiveness because yes, you don't love this, classy. right? So nothing super fitted. Right. And then what it's about so shoulders? Fitted. Do you do, because as a triangle, you really could go for the padded shoulder or the puffy shoulder trends. How do you feel I about that? I always look for some type of shoulder detail mm -hmm. because I know that it kind of, you know, 
balances me out. I do like the puffy sleeve trend that's happening right now. And I do like, um, you know, like a pleated kind of feel up here. So it just gives a little bit more fullness. You know what I love about your style too, though, what? is you, you will go for the puffy sleeve or the puffy shoulder, but you also know you can't go all in on that. No. You are, yeah. you love edgy. And so you'll do like a hint of it and then she'll pair it with like combat boots or something. Yeah. Yeah. That's really cool. You got it. <laughs> yes. Okay. Well, thank you so much, yes, Jody. Now we're going to talk about inverted triangle. Inverted triangle body shape means that your bust and shoulder measurement are larger than your hip measurement. And Tony is a classic inverted triangle. So some of the things that you want to think about for inverted triangle body shape if you wanna create balance. Now again, you may not want to, there are ways around it and we'll talk about that in a minute. But if you wanna create balance, you're bigger up here, you're smaller down here. In theory, you would do a minimizing color, a solid, um, no prints on the top, and in contrast, do the bolder down in the bottom. Tony's doing a little bit of a different combination where she has the darker color on the bottom and the lighter color on the top, but here's where it gets a little bit complicated. There is a reason behind that because you know the reason. Because I wanna accentuate my legs? Exactly, because <laughs> she has amazing legs and that is her asset. She wants to maximize her asset, minimize the problem area. But for her, her legs are her jam, right? Like she's got great legs. So she really wants to accentuate the legs. That's why she's wearing the slimmer fitting jeans. In contrast, she does have on a lighter top, but it does have a lot of forgiveness and it is very slimming and flattering. Tell us a little bit about your button down. So this is TWP and I love it because it's got just the detail on the sleeve, which draws your attention again away from my waist. It's blousy. I like to tuck it in so I can kind of show like my slim hips and my legs and not just be too kind of baggy. It also just dresses it up and it's more, it's a younger look. And I love a good white button down. I also like white silk shirts. I like anything that's not form fitting because typically in order to get jeans to fit my hips, they are too big in the waist or they're too tight in the waist rather because I have really slim hips. And so a blousy shirt really really helps with that. Do you just along those lines, and we'll get back to tops in a minute, but do you often have to either go with a really stretchy jean with a lot of spandex mm -hmm. or have the waist taken in on your jeans? No, the waist is usually too small because I have to go smaller in the hips. Uh, so yeah. what happens is that I get the muffin top. So mm -hmm. my blouses need to be blousy and not form fitting. So you can't see that I actually have that going on right now because mm -hmm. these are not stretchy. The stretchy jeans mm -hmm. really work well well to cover that up and not give me that like you know on my waist so it's really the your your hips are so slim mm -hmm. in comparison to your waist mm -hmm. that you have to buy a size that works for your waist for my hips or for your hips and then it has to be lower than the waist so you have yeah. to pay attention to the rise too exactly Mm, that's mm -hmm. tricky. So the tops help kind of camouflage all of that. <laughs> so you're looking for in your tops, what, besides they, you want them to be slightly well, oversized? I like button downs a lot because of the V-neck and because of my bust, um, it doesn't accentuate the bust. I have to buy larger tops because I'm very broad shouldered and I have the bust. So in order to make it slim fitting, I just tuck one side in or tuck it in and put a cool belt. She can create a waist with the half tuck, but it still gives her all the forgiveness that she needs for the tummy area. And then is there another brand that you like besides TWP that you gravitate toward with tops? Is there a go-to for you? It just would be cool to know because of the, the broad shoulders. It's really not a brand necessarily, it's a style. I like button downs, I wear silk shirts. Vince is good because they do um, a really cool, a lot of V-necks silk flowy sh tops that I can mm -hmm. yep. tuck in, tuck in one side. Do you wear equipment? Oh, equipment is wonderful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I live in button down, so this is one of my, this, <laughs> this is, is my jam. jam. Yes, I got it. Okay, so yeah, equipment, Vince, TWP, those mm -hmm. are your go-tos. Yeah. Do you wear rails tops at all? You know, sometimes the rails tend to not fit my bust because what uh, I have a problem with mm -hmm. button downs is it busting out um, mm -hmm. when on the between the buttons. In order to get it to fit my, a size that fits my bust, sometimes it's too big and blousy. I just bought a Frank and Eileen oversized 
blue, light blue shirt that was buttoned down and that worked really well too. Okay, well that that's great information though because I do think the rails and the Frank and Eileen, if it's not oversized, run quite slim. Mm-hmm. So it's good to know that it is it is too slim for the shoulders and also the bust yeah. for you. I wear larges in the tops and like the really small bottoms. Well, thank you so much for sharing all this. So helpful, Tony, especially for women out there who are you know brought her up here with a bust. I think that's really helpful information. So thank you. And I just wanted to talk about my white button down. This is a new purchase that I got from Nordstrom. It's by a line, I believe it's a new in-house line for Nordstrom called Open Edit. And I wanted to get a really oversized white button down because the oversized, as we talked about before, is really on trend right now. But for me, it felt, ah, I don't know, it felt kind of uncomfortable. I got this crop jacket to pair with it to make it feel a little more kind of defined to give me the waist. Because again, I'm a rectangle. That means I don't have a defined waist. So the crop jacket helps to give me shape and also define the waist. The other thing I love about this top, like I'm just excited about playing around with it. As Jody mentioned, like I can take it to the beach and where does it cover up? I can try it tied up with a skirt. I can try it with some shorts. I just feel like I have options with it. And I wanted to show this to you guys because I just think it's such a cool piece. It can create a little stress in the sense that you're like, oh, I don't know what to do with this because it's not sort of the classic white button down. But on the other hand, it can create some excitement and like, oh, I get to style this a bunch of different ways. It has a, some versatility to it. So for me, I'm looking forward to the styling in a bunch of different ways thing. <laughs> I'll put a link to this below. So which white button down was your favorite? Please share that in the comments and don't forget to show the ladies some love. They did come in here and spend hours with me in the studio shooting these videos. So show them the love, tell them how much you appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, notification bell so you know we upload a new video. There are more body shape videos. We also have new faces, voices on the brand new website, busbystyle.com. So you can head over there too if you want more content as it relates to different body shapes. Thanks to all of you for being here. I really appreciate it. And thanks to all of you for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.